As believers, the Bible tells us in Hebrews 1 that we are surrounded by an innumerable company of angels. Although invisible to our natural eyes, these divine messengers sent by God are actively ministering on our behalf behind the scenes. In this video, I will be revealing to you five subtle signs to know if you are in the company of angels. So without further ado, let's begin. Sign number one, unusual physical warmth. The first indicator that angels are with you is when you feel unusual physical warmth as you pray or worship. You may sense heat flowing through your body or a warm sensation enveloping you. In the scriptures, certain angels such as the seraphim are associated with burning ones, reflecting their blazing passion for being in God's presence. The name seraphim actually comes from the Hebrew word seraph, which literally means to burn or to blaze. Now you may be wondering, could this actually be the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit rather than angels? And the answer is absolutely yes. The Holy Spirit's manifest presence also frequently brings supernatural warmth. But we need to recognize that angels often accompany the Spirit's move. The two work together. I love how the prophet Daniel described an angelic encounter he had, saying that the angel's body was like beryl, his face like the appearance of lightning, his eyes like flaming torches. So the blazing eyes of this angelic being brought an intense supernatural heat that Daniel perceived. When we enter into passionate praise, worship, and prayer to God, angels gather around and the spiritual atmosphere noticeably changes. Our physical bodies detect this shift as unusual warmth. What we perceive as heat or fire is actually just the physical byproduct of the increased heavenly activity around us. So next time you feel that burning, that fire during times of prayer or worship, recognize there are seraphim angels blazing with adoration around God's throne right with you. Sign number two, spontaneous joy. A second sign that angels are right there with you is when you suddenly experience bubbling joy or lightness of spirit during prayer times. In Luke chapter two, an angel appears to the shepherds announcing the birth of Jesus, saying he brought good tidings of great joy. God often dispatches his messengers to bring supernatural joy. So when you feel unexpected joy or elation for no apparent reason, it may very well be an angelic visitation. Angels themselves are often joyful beings. When Sarah became pregnant with Isaac despite her old age, she declared that God has brought me laughter. In fact, the name Isaac in Hebrew literally means laughter. This supernatural joy was evidence of angels visiting them with news. Psalm 1611 tells us that in God's presence there is fullness of joy. So when angels draw near announcing revelations from heaven, their realm begins to merge with ours. We temporarily experience measures of their heavenly joy and bliss. Remember in Luke 10 after the disciples returned from casting out demons in Jesus' name. It says they came back with joy that the evil spirits were subject to them. Likewise, close encounters with angels can bring sudden spiritual joy and celebration. So if you ever feel unexpected bubbly joy or lightness spontaneously arise during times of prayer, recognize that angels are likely right there with you. Take time to drink in their joy as God's messengers for you. It's time to celebrate what heaven is doing. Sign number three, overflowing strength. The third indicator that angels are right by your side is when you receive unusual strength and empowerment during prayer. Has this ever happened to you? Where you start out exhausted, battling just to keep your eyes open. But then as you press into prayer, you feel suddenly strengthened, energized, and alert. This perfectly mirrors what happened with Jesus in Luke 22:43, where it says, Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. When angels showed up as Jesus anguished in intense prayer, they renewed and empowered his physical body. No longer exhausted, he was now supernaturally strengthened to fulfill his purpose. When you feel your weariness evaporating and strength arising instead, it's evidence that angels have arrived on the scene. God has dispatched them at that very moment to refresh and renew you for the mission ahead. It's important to note that when the angel strengthened Jesus in his hour of need, Scripture reveals that his sweat was like great drops of blood. No doubt Jesus had entered intense spiritual warfare as he prayed. Likewise, when you feel mightily empowered and strengthened amidst the struggle, it's because angels are fortifying you for battle. You are not alone in your most difficult trials. Heaven's reinforcements have come to walk you through it. Even when your three-week fast has left you utterly drained, 
angels can suddenly strengthen you for victory. As Ephesians 6.10 reminds us, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Sign number four, glimpses of light. The fourth sign that angels are right there with you is when you notice subtle light with your eyes closed during prayer. Angels in Scripture are often described as glowing, radiant beings shining with light. In Matthew 28, the angel who appears at Jesus' empty tomb is said to look like lightning. Their dazzling brightness is beyond what we can fully comprehend. As these brilliant angelic creatures draw near to you, you may perceive glimmers of their luminosity, even with your natural eyes shut. This is not your imagination, but actually picking up on the spiritual reality of angels present yet unseen. Psalm 104.2 says, God wraps himself in light. The angels who perpetually abide in his glorious presence glow with this same brilliant light. When angels draw near to you, their blinding brightness overlaps into our realm. You perceive faint traces of their light with natural senses. Next time you are shutting out natural distractions to pray deeply with your eyes closed, be alert for any subtle glimmers, flashes or perceptions of light. These brief glimpses likely signal heavenly visitations in progress. The light you notice doesn't need to be some blinding blast of brilliance. Even faint traces and flickers are highly significant. Sign number five, physical manifestations. The fifth sign that angels are right there with you is when you actually perceive supernatural manifestations, even with your natural senses. At times, angels partially materialize, or even take on some kind of physical form that is visible, audible, or tangible to us. Think about Genesis 18, when Abraham had an encounter where three angels appeared looking just like physical men. Abraham saw them with his natural eyes, spoke to them, and even prepared food for them to eat. Or remember when Elisha prayed for his servant's eyes to open in 2 Kings chapter 6. The servant immediately saw the mountainside filled with fiery angelic horses and chariots that were previously invisible to him. Because angels are spirit beings, they can choose to manifest in partial or limited physical ways within our natural realm. So when God wants to accentuate their presence to us, angels take on some kind of visible, audible or tangible form. This may happen to you while you are wide awake in a bright room, not just in a dream state or trance. You may audibly hear an angel speaking God's message to you. When angels manifest in these supernatural ways, our physical senses act as spiritual antennas, picking up what is happening in the unseen realm around us. When you notice these angelic signs and signals, respond by boldly praising God out loud for dispatching His holy messengers to minister to you. Read scriptures affirming their existence and role as heavenly helpers. Then make your requests known, so God can instruct the angels how to assist you in alignment with His perfect will. Remember to wait quietly at times with an expectant heart. Listening to hear personalized messages, the angels may deliver directly from God's throne room. Above all, do not shrink back in fear when feeling angelic activity, but enter in with faith and awe, thanking the Lord for confirming His abiding presence and supernatural assistance. Our faithful God is always closer than we realize. Angels are His secret agents, working wonders on our behalf every single day. Though usually unseen, we get blessed glimpses of their activity through these signs. Remember Psalm 103.20 tells us that angels instantly respond and heed the voice of God's word. So consistently speak scriptures, make declarations and decree the promises of God over your life. This activates the angels, so heaven's resources align with your prayers. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you love our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel.